Hi, let's talk about the lumbar spine. So the lumbar spine consists of five lumbar vertebrae, L1 through L5, which is connecting the thoracic vertebrae to the sacrum. There are many different muscles that are going to affect the movement of the vertebral column, but specifically, we'd like you to look at two of these, which are visible from the anterior lower abdominal retroperitoneum and pelvis. So one of these muscles uh, you've already seen before, and that is the psoas major. Psoas major, um, as I'm outlining here, um, has its proximal attachments on the transverse processes of lumbar vertebrae, and its fibers come down and they blend with the fibers from another muscle, the iliacus, which you can see here, to create the iliopsoas muscle. Uh, together, uh, the iliopsoas muscle is a very powerful flexor of the hip. The other muscle that we'd like you to know about is the quadratus lumborum muscle. The quadratus lumborum muscle is a very deep back muscle, sometimes uh, categorized, and probably rightfully so, as the deepest abdominal muscle. Um, it sits posterior to the, uh, the kidneys. It arises um, from the inferior margin of the 12th rib as well as the transverse processes of the first four lumbar vertebrae. And its distal attachment is to the medial aspect of the iliac crest. And so <clears throat> when working together, quadratus lumborum muscles are going to be uh, capable of extending the vertebral column and working independently, um, the quadratus lumborum muscle is uh, capable of the lateral flexion of the lumbar vertebrae. And another function uh, working uh, together, the quadratus lumborum muscles can serve to fix the position of the 12th ribs in place. So they can act as stabilizers for uh, ribs 12. So those are the, uh, the two muscles of the lumbar spine that we'd like you to know for this session. I thank you for your time.